If you ask people what a successful retirement looks like, you could get a hundred different answers. Some people say it's giving to charity, others it's spending time with family, and others it's doing what they want, when they want. But we found that there are three critical factors to make sure that you can retire with confidence. The first is making sure that your plan has a margin of error, basically a cushion. The second thing is making sure that you are considering the what ifs of life. And the third and final thing is making sure that you're aware of inflation eating into your expenses. Today, we're going to talk about it. Hey there, it's Alex and Matt from One Degree Advisors. If you're new here, we are certified financial planners that help folks with all things tax, retirement, and investment related. So, you know, for those of you that watching that are watching this video, maybe you're five or 10 years out from retirement. So, you know, if you're a pre-retiree or you're already retired, every retirement plan needs three critical factors like we mentioned in the introduction. You need to have a margin for error, which we commonly refer to that as cushion. You need to have a plan for the what ifs of life, and you need to make sure that you're considering inflation in your retirement plan. It's such a critical factor. A lot of people miss that. So Matt, why don't we get into the first critical point, which is making sure that your plan has cushion. It has a margin for error. Look, the future is really hard to predict. And unless you're Doc and Marty McFly, I'm from the future. You can't hop in a DeLorean and go 30 years from now to see exactly how things change. And when people come to us to get them through retirement, you know, we always want to leave a cushion for things like what happens if Social Security looks different going forward or what happens if my tax rates increase in the future. And by having this cushion as part of the process, we can see how confident retirees are knowing that whatever life throws their way, you know, we have a plan, we are prepared to take action. So, you know, what does cushion look like? I mean, for a lot of folks that we work with, that can mean making sure that you have adequate cash reserves, right? You've built up this cash cushion that you have in your financial plan that you can always tap into. Let's say if markets get bad or something happens that is unexpected that you can turn to access to. I'd say a big thing as well is we can run pl plan projections and show folks, okay, well, what happens if you actually just spend a little bit less per month, right? When you spend a little bit less per month, that gives your overall projection a bigger cushion. So now instead of running your plan dry, <laughs> you know, we would all love to spend it, it, that common phrase, right? I want my, uh, my last check to bounce before I take my last breath. And that's a, that's a great thing to aspire to. The problem is we don't know the expiration date on our birth certificate. And a lot of people will likely live longer than they expect to. And so making sure we have that cushion there can help make sure that you don't run out of money, right? Now that brings us to our second point, and that's every retirement plan needs to account for the what ifs of life. And we call this Murphy's Law, which is anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah, and what we do know is that change is inevitable, but being completely derailed by it isn't. So you don't have to sit back and take that wait and see approach. Let's see what happens. And if you remember the movie Jaws, you know, Hooper is diving underneath the wreckage of the boat and all of a sudden he finds a massive shark tooth, but then boom, all of a sudden the head pops up, drops everything. So when he goes to the mayor later on, he's like, look, there's a massive man-eating shark that's out there. We need to close the beaches. The mayor says, well, until I see that tooth, I'm not going to shut those beaches down. So my point here is that you don't always have to take that wait and see approach before it's too late. You know, we have to address things like what happens if my spouse passes away or mm -hmm. what happens if, you know, things look differently going forward from medical perspective. So you know, although these sound really morbid to talk about, we have to make sure we address these things. Well, and that's point. the thing. Usually the what ifs in a financial plan are towards the negative side, are towards the things of like the catastrophic side, because those are usually the things that keep people up at night. The, the most common what if scenario we will run for folks is like, well, what happens if I have a major medical event like long term care? 
a lot of folks, they just do not want to become a burden to their kids. It's an unpleasant thing to think about, the fact that you will need medical care and it's hard to care for yourself. But statistically, this happens a lot. And so if we can help prepare for those things, say, you know, hey, maybe you don't have long-term care insurance, so we need to prepare to, to self-fund such an event and those expenses. And we can show, hey, if you do this, you know, it's very likely that we'll be able to self-fund and prepare for such a medical event that often helps people. I, I've seen it. People are sitting in that chair and we go through that presentation. It's like, OK, like I'm, I'm I feel better. It gives me confidence. I don't know and I can't control if I'm going to have a medical event or not, but I can control if my plan is prepared for me to have such a medical event. All right. Like, um, you know, plans have twists and turns. The last thing here we talked about it earlier, and I think it's something that Inflation is just really tricky for people to wrap their heads around. It's like compounding things, right? Compounding numbers is hard for people, but people need to make sure that they're not failing to incorporate inflation into their plan. Yeah, inflation is really that killer, that silent killer in retirement plans because you just don't see the effects right away. It takes years of compounding to really see that your dollar just doesn't go quite as far as it once did. And what used to cover all your expenses now is only covering a sliver or a portion. Mm -hmm. And we don't know, you know, right now, eggs and milk down the line, is it going to cost $50? We're not here to predict that. We don't know. But over time, we know that those costs are going yep. to go up. Inflation. Yeah. So when we do retirement planning, I mean, very commonly we'll use an inflation rate, maybe three to 4%. And I remember doing this, you know, 10 years ago, or I mean, looking at plans like 10 years ago or even five years ago and showing people and saying like, you know, we're including an inflation rate of three to four percent. And people are like, why are you, you're making my plan look bad, right? Inflation is so low. Like, why make my plan look bad? And now inflation is really high and people are going, well, are you sure you're using the right inflation? Maybe it should be higher. The long term average is in that three to four range. But point being is that by including that rate and a long term average rate, you don't have to be worried when inflation goes up. Because like, hey, we've been incorporating this. And then if inflation goes down, you're like, hey, if it comes back up again, at least we're prepared. And that's really important. And, you know, when we think about Social Security, that's a major chunk of retirees' uh, source of income. And in 2023, it's expected to have one of the largest increase increases in decade. And we talked about that in a previous video, which we'll link above. People can watch that. Really important as you continue to think about planning for next year, planning out your income sources. If you found today's video helpful, we wrote a guide, Five Retirement Mistakes to Avoid, which you can download in the description below. And if you're already in retirement, let us know how is inflation impacting your costs and how are you preparing for that in your retirement plan? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.